All right, melee. Uh, it's pretty straightforward as far as weapons. I mean, you just get the the next. You just make the next sword that you can. Um, yeah, at the early game, I got a. I just made full iron. I think I made a copper sword instead of an iron sword because like the damage difference is so negligible. Like, what's the point? Um, and then I bought a potion pouch, which was that was clutch. And uh, yeah, yeah, I I got the hunter uh, early. That was really nice. And I made it sure to lock him in so he didn't die because it's really important to get that for shish kebabs. Uh, the fight, you just whack him with iron armor. The only thing you really like need to dodge is whenever he comes down. Uh, of course, the elder is going to help. I think I got the melee focus um, first kill, I think. So that was nice. But I, I eventually if you just farmed it like four or five times to just get enough demonic bars to make full uh, whatever the, I guess it's called demonic armor, I don't know. So let's see, I make a demonic sword. Um, and then I went fishing picked up an angler which was clutch but then on his way back it was nighttime and I guess he just died to zombies so that sucked but it's okay I decided I want to recreate the same farm I did for the range run and this that's that's just what it looked like it's the same thing but it, I loved it it looks really nice don't know what happened but ice queen uh, the, the spider queen I don't have a recording of it but that boss was uh, kind of hard just because I have to chase it, but it didn't do too much damage. Uh, this boss though was awful. Uh, he just r runs away from you, your melee. So you, I mean, you just gotta keep whacking him. There's really not much else you could do. And he just constantly just throwing out stuff. And I mean, it does 20. Like, like these are doing 20s and sometimes 30s. It, it just it's a lot. It, this it, melee is not the move for this. Besides the extra trinket slot, there's, there's no reason to kill it in the quest line, I guess. But yeah, not a fun boss melee. Didn't, don't even. I wouldn't even try it if you're like literally do it any other way if you're melee. Any other uh, combat style. Terrible boss for melee. Probably, probably the worst boss for melee, I'd say. Here I have the same setup that I did with for the uh, void mage. I probably could have done this before the void mage uh melee is 100 percent the best thing to use for this because the snake's broken up into different segments so you can just stack damage i mean i did that kill in like what 20 seconds okay so i tried killing it with just the ivy sword and that was awful so i was like okay well let's look at all the melee weapons and i saw like the lightning hammer or something so i went through the entire dungeon couldn't find one, but I found a Void Spear, and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. Like, it has some range, and it was great. It, it worked great for the boss. Not, you know, wasn't the best for... Like, I've, another combat side would have been better, but for melee, it worked. Um, it just barely reaches the Vulture whenever it does, like, the space distance. I don't know how to explain it, and shoots the uh, feathers. But it worked great. Um... Damage was not bad. Um, wouldn't even attempt this with this. I don't. I don't know if you could even do it with the sword. Maybe, but why? Um, but yeah, the void spear. The void spear, pretty pretty clutch. I didn't stay for this one spear because the damage between the void spear and the one that it drops is like very negligible. So. But yeah, the kill went pretty smooth uh, compared to trying it with the sword. Uh, so yeah, I came to the pirate island, cleared off some space, and let me tell you, this the the void spear made it. I it, I think it is the best combat style you could kill this thing with. It, it makes no sense to me. I think it's just because the DPS is so high compared to any other combat styles, despite you being melee. 
Look how much I'm just shredding this thing. It is unbelievable. I mean, I, I, po I don't even know if I potted, like, drank a health pot a single time. Look at this thing's health. It's just getting shredded. I couldn't believe it whenever I died. I was like, wait, it's dead. Like, <laughs> look at this. I don't, th I don't think I drink a health pot a single time, or, uh, I guess I did, maybe, but, it, damage is nuts for this, I couldn't believe it, so, the first thing I did when I unlocked tungsten, was, make a farm, with eggplant, chili pepper, tomatoes, and, what am I missing, whatever it is to make a shish kebab, shish kebabs are OP, uh, I would not recommend in fighting any bosses past Reaper, or even inclu including Reaper, until you get shish kebabs. Always make shish kebabs. Um, so I made shish kebabs. Uh, this boss was, it was just miserable to fight. The I knew I had to do a spear because of how much it moved around. Um, sword just wasn't an option. The attack speed, even, I even enchanted, like, everything as much as I could. The attack speed with the spear is so slow that those balls, I, like, I, I hate those damn balls. That's, like, the entire fight is the balls. Just killing the balls. The, the rest of it is easy to dodge, but the balls just makes it so much more difficult. But, yeah, I can't, it was really hard to clear out the balls. Like, the, the, how smooth the fight goes depends on how fast you can clear those balls. Sometimes, I would hit him with my spear, but I wouldn't crit, so I would have to hit again. It was a pain. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't, I think I, I don't, I think I might have tried it once and then teleported out. And I was like, okay, I can't do this. And then tried again and then got it. But, it was just a miserable fight. Like, I was like try harding i was like i got like oh my god like, like i can't get hit if, like if I, you know, if I take too much damage i gotta teleport out but yeah just a very tedious annoying fight but um did it i didn't get the scythe on the first time but i think i did it on the second time so i had to fight it again and i was, I was like i really don't want to fight him but I, you know obviously i did because scythe is crazy um but yeah pretty standard fight just Got to know the cycles and have some way to clear the balls. Like, I tra kept trying to clear a uh, switch with my um, saber or wh whatever the pirate weapon is uh, to clear the balls. It was, and I, for some reason, I kept opening my inventory. I don't know. But, yeah, very tedious fight. But pretty fun. Scythe is just such a solid weapon. I mean, this thing is just a monster the damage is is like eh, it's all right but the utility this thing gives is just crazy I mean, you can kill things through walls you can it has range like it's just it, it has a decent attack speed the damage isn't even bad it's just such a good weapon like even if i was playing on like a you know non you know focused account like i would just keep this thing with me just to clear out just the aoe it's just solid. But the fight... I mean... Dude, I, the Ice Queen is, is honestly... Once you just... Know the cycle, it's probably one of the easiest boss. I should, okay, maybe not one of the easiest. It, it's easy. It, like, it's easier than Reaper, I can tell you that. Maybe it's just because I have the Scythe, but... The Ice Queen just... yeah, it's I think it's pretty free. Um, Scythe is obviously like uh, you know if, if you're gonna try to do melee then don't even try this with anything but the scythe yeah if i if i didn't have the scythe this this would be hard but uh yeah the scythe just makes it pretty free unless you have the dragon lance i would argue that the scythe is the best weapon to kill sage and grit with because they ha they have the same thing with the they're segmented so you can just stack damage on them, and I mean this 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 entire kill is in a one minute clip. The entire clip is one minute. Um, 
it's just insane. The, the AOE just is insane. I, I, Scythe is just such a great weapon. I, I mean, I love it. Uh, the fight, you know, I, I honestly did think it'd be so easy, but it's, it's just your damage is so high, your DPS is just so high that you can just, like, there's really not much dodging you need to do because, like, I'm kind of half assing it. I, I still get the kill. Alright, let's talk about the Fallen Wizard. This guy, this guy was tough, okay? Melee, it was difficult. I had to go to the drawing board. I had to go and look for some gear upgrades. He was tough. Uh, the reason why he's so tough is because you don't have the luxury of just being able to camp near a pole and for the for the spinning laser. You don't have the luxury of being able to kill the dragons at any distance. He was tough. I I went and got I, I even had to use the uh twenty five percent health revive thing. And actually went and searched for the thing that upgrades it to give you fifty more health. I had to go get that. I, I was like I got him I got him down to like twenty percent a couple times. And I was like, uh, yeah, this I'm just I'm just ever so slightly not getting it. And then I got lucky and I found the one of the five percent trinkets that you can bind into ten percent crit chance. And I got that that definitely helped. I had fifty percent crit chance on top of whatever my weapon has. Uh so I probably had like you know, sixty, seventy percent crit chance. It was it's pretty nuts, um with good attack speed. Um yeah, melee is definitely not the choice for this one, uh, but it's still doable. Uh, hard fight. Glad it's over. Shish kebabs OP. I don't know what there is to say. It was fun. It was a fun, fun little boss fight. I like the challenge. Dragons. Or you have to kill them. Like if you don't kill them, they're they they hit you for like 50, and it's just yeah, it's awful.